Hey gang, well it's the final part of the uh, of the series of videos that we're going to be doing. Now, this is the uh, this is the episode where we like to call the mixed breed, where this is pretty much a different mix of different uh, types of uh, DVDs we have in our collection, and uh, I'm sure you'll understand why here in a few minutes. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much just well, well let's just try to get into this real real quick, and uh, you guys see what I mean. Starting off with the horror comedy collections, we got Shriek, if you know what I did last Friday the 13th, a movie that a lot of people call a low-budget scary movie, but uh, still highly enjoyable, a lot of fun to watch, and um, you know some of the jokes are hit or miss, but uh, still, still fun, still fun watch. I'll sit that over there, I guess, for right now. And a horror comedy double feature, Ice Cream Man and Jack Frost 2. Really enjoyed the first Jack Frost. Part two was pretty good, but it seemed like they were they were really trying to up the budget a little bit. And uh, although the first one, I would probably recommend it a little bit more. But both movies are fun. Ice Cream Man, just an insane movie. I don't think it was supposed to be an intentional horror comedy, but uh, it there's a lot of you know really silly, stupid uh, parts of that movie, and you, you may wind up laughing. Black Sheep, my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, hated this movie. <laughs> and uh, I just, I just, I thought it was just so st stupid, goofy, fun. And uh, yeah, and the one part of it, I just, I, I really, really cringed at, but I'm not going to give away what that part was. But if you've seen it, let me just say it was, it was about towards the end. Yeah, it involves the older brother and one of the sheep. So yeah. Okay, so we're going to kind of go into... Uh, I guess we could say these are uh, these are uh, I guess sort of like TV show stuff. I don't know. It's Hulk versus Thor and Wolverine, and uh, one of these has an appearance by Deadpool. I think it's the Wolverine one. Uh, definitely want to watch this as soon as possible and um, and see how it all ends. See who see who wins and wonder why is Hulk taking on another Marvel superhero. Family Guy, Blue Harvest. Um, I think I watched this on Fox when it first came on and, and really enjoyed it. And the uh, uh, thought it was really, really hilarious and everything like that. Thought it was great and, uh, you know, enjoyable. And uh, I think this is the third one. Yeah, I think I... I think? Yeah, yeah, I, I mix these up. It's all right. Uh, Family Guy, It's a Trap. Uh... <laughs> Uh, another really funny one. Uh, you know, all these were all these were hilarious, and uh, just really really enjoyed these. And um, man, they, just just so much fun. And I think this is the, supposed to be the second one. Yeah, I think yeah, something 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 dark side. <laughs> oh, that that makes me laugh because there was an episode I can't remember what it was, but they were talking about uh, the emperor, and uh, and he actually said something 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 dark side. <laughs> Great title for that one, spoofing the Empire Strikes Back. Now I have the stand-up comedy collection. We have Best of Gallagher Volume One, which features. Um, Contains outrageous bits, huge laughs, and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see right there, this is mad as H-E double hockey sticks and too real. Uh, I, I loved watching Gallagher when I was a kid, and uh, you know, and it just it's so sad to see you know his career take a, a bad turn as it did. I think there might be more Gallagher DVDs out there. Hopefully there is, and hopefully I can go find them. Volume two, which includes the maddest and stuck in the sixties. Uh, both very enjoyable, and uh, again, I want to pick up more Best of Gallagher DVDs if I can find them, and uh, these were like $5 at uh, Walmart, and uh, I was like, yeah, money well spent. And uh, one of my favorite comedians, I love watching this guy when he's on TV because he's insanely crazy, The Amazing Jonathan, wrong on every level, a very hilarious DVD to get. Um, of course, you can see it was from, from Comedy Central. There's some extras on here, like a stand-up special he did. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is just fall down funny. And the, the, the crazy thing about it is, is that Amazing Jonathan and Weird Al Yankovic are like best friends. So, yeah. 
All right, so there you guys have it, the final episode of this uh, 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 47-part series. Uh, so like I said, there there will be more DVDs to do, DVD videos to do for you guys in the near future, whenever we can get some more. And I will try to see if there's any more DVDs in the back. If there is, do more of these uh, in different sections. If not, well, when some more DVDs come in our way, I'll do a, I'll do a video update for you guys. So that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. And let's pe help people out there who really, really need it right now, especially this week being what it is. And um, and uh, let's uh, keep keep praying this virus nightmare is going to end very, very soon. And let's stop trying to destroy the world. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. Until we do this again, as always, stay strong and rock on.